Well, YouTube, that's my insulation. I got two up already. Temporarily, they're not 100%. There's a screw holding it there and there and there. Didn't realize how much crap I had on the wall here hanging off the top of the rafters that I have to take down just so I can get this sheet up. And I'm playing with minimal room here. Unless I empty the shed right out, you know, which I'll do later on because all that stuff's got to come down so I can actually get back there and tie. It's actually in the, in the channel. Like, see that lip there? It's in that, so it's not going to come down, but I want to put some screws in the top. I was going to use that stuff, PL Premium, but... Just maneuvering this and not paying attention to the objects that are in the way, like this bracket had to be cut around. See, had to cut around the bracket so I can actually stick it in. Well, there's another one. Those brackets were there because this used to have a roll-up door, and that was what held the big spring. That's a lot of steel to cut off, so I thought, no, I'm just going to leave it and I'll cut around it. I can always spray foam if I have to. And since I'm laying it on the rafters, there's a nice air gap, so. Because this uh, roof gets pretty hot in the summertime. Mind you, it is aluminum. It's that color on the outside too, but that's what I'm up to. Playing with what I got. I ain't got much. You got two more sheets. These are the full length of the trailer. They're actually a little bit short on the back, maybe about it, six to eight inches, but that's fine. We can put something in there after. But anyways, I got her half done. Just got to tape this together to seal it. So that should already make a difference. And I get this section done. Then I got to figure out what I'm going to do with that heater yet. Because, uh, and that light has to come down or go around it, either one. It's just two clips holding the wiring up. We didn't see you got a cut for the wire and that, so that light could actually go right to the wall. Or I could put it on that shelf, either way. I was thinking of the heater mounted to that shelf, too. Or put a put a hunk of wood across and then bolt the heater to it. I can raise the heater up more because the bracket allows it to go higher up. See there's another hole yet. So still makes it adjustable. And uh yeah. But yeah, that heater is gonna be the last part, but I'm gonna at least get this piece up and uh go from there. So I already disconnected this wire. That just feeds that plug. That was it. It's on its own breaker. So I just got to pull it out of here so I can get it out of the way and get this panel up. That's what I'm doing. Just in case you're wondering. And yes, I'm on peak outside. We're getting some more snow. There goes another load of cars. We've been putting one out a week. So the steel's at a good price right now. So that's what I'm doing, besides trying to do it in this tight area. So just an update.